Mr. Secretary. This must be damned important if the Attorney General's personally asking me to take this meeting. It is. Three days ago, a lethal toxin was stolen from a government lab. Our investigations led us to the murder of an ex-Marine named Jack Bronson. Do you know him? It's possible. A lot of men served under my command. Why? You think he was involved in this theft? No, but he may have known who was. We believe that this is connected to a military base named Dreamworld. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Dreamworld's a myth. It's a military legend. It doesn't exist. Are you kidding me? Are we actually going to play this game, Sir, Agent Beckett, was it? Whoever took that toxin, if they use it, there will be mass casualties. So if you know Sir, something... Someone was writing an article about Dreamworld. You personally had that story killed. Why? Why? Because the enemy reads newspapers. And there's no way in hell I'm going to risk American lives by handing out operational details about a special ops base, if such a base existed. What about Bronson? What's his connection to that base? If it indeed does exist. Everything I'm about to say is off the books. Are we clear? Yes. Yes. Bronson was an outstanding Marine, but he only worked one mission out of there, a high-value airstrike in Jalalabad that took out Anwar Zawari, Al-Qaeda's number two. What was Bronson's role? He was our man on the ground, set up in a nearby building. He reported when Zawari went in the house then, when the airstrike was launched, he painted the house with a laser to guide the missile. Did the word Valkyrie have anything to do with this strike? Was it the name of a mission or a code name? No. It's not familiar. Look, that operation was a big win for us. It crippled Al-Qaeda's entire command structure. Was there any talk of Al-Qaeda retaliating? There was chatter. Always is. But we took out Zawari a year ago. They never hit us back. Unless they just did. And this is just the beginning. <laughs>